If your looper is doing a donut rain dance right in front of the charging station, you may want to check out this video because I experienced this uh, in the beginning of this season. Lupa is refusing to return to the charging station. You can see how it works. So it approaches. Now it's inside the box, and it goes around, and then it will make a donut. And then it stops with the error message that recharging uh, was not successful. In the log I found this message that the infrared signal uh, was not detected and that I should clean the uh, detector both on the looper and on the charging station. I cleaned both but it didn't resolve the issue so I contacted the support and they sent me the following video. What you see is the infrared LEDs on the uh, docking station. They are flashing and you can see four in total. They help guide Luba back into the charging station by sending the signals from angle and directly in the front. You need an Android phone to uh, take a photo of this. For some reason, iPhone won't detect it. I didn't get any signal when I looked at mine, so I decided to take it apart to check what's inside. It's fairly simple to take it apart. You just need to remove these eight screws in the bottom plate of the charging station and then another ten uh, at the top. You can see six in the uh, where the connections are and four at the ceiling. Please be aware that the screws have different lengths, so keep them separate. Already now I started to see what's wrong, as the cardboard I was working on got wet. After removing the last six screws I could open what was supposed to be the watertight compartment for the electronics. It was full of water, I actually could pour out some water of it and uh, everything was wet and even the uh, PCB I could see corrosion on the LED uh, and other places. I did clean up the whole thing um, and dry everything, clean the glass window for the IR signal and uh, put everything back together. Uh, and um, yes, it did work afterward, but uh, I have to admit that I needed to ask the support to send me a new charging station because it's obvious that this will not hold up uh, for long with all the corrosion on the PCB. My motion have changed the design of this so this is how it looks on mine and now they use some more watertight connectors. Here we see the springs that uh, keeps the charging pins out on the charging station. And now I'm pressing them from the outside as if I was the looper. Finally, a few pictures of the green LED on top of the charging station. Uh, I simply put everything back together and it worked. Uh, however, I have changed to the new one uh, I received from customer service.